Hello, I've just returned back from my long sea voyage again. I uh, come home to find that the coronavirus is taking a, a grip on society. Society is falling apart as we know it, and uh, of course the great apes are taking over. Um, but that's another story. Uh, yes, the uh, this coronavirus, I'll be, uh, I went shopping yesterday evening, and uh, well, there's nothing in the shop, there's no food. There's no meat, there's no potatoes, but there's plenty of fresh fruit and vegetables available. Um, why you would choose to stock up on potatoes when you should be really eating the, the healthy option, which is the fresh fruit and vegetables. Um, there's no meat on the shelf, so you, there's no there's your protein that's not there. Um, but uh, also the pasta, there's no pasta in the shops. No toilet paper, no cleaning products for your bathroom or your toilet. Uh, there's no washing, wash powder in the shops. So, I mean, what have you guys been doing up until now? Have you not been cleaning your own toilets? Have you not been washing your hands or washing your clothes? Why have you got to stockpile now? Um, oh, it's just unbelievable. Uh, I also popped out to the local shops today. And uh, it was just like normal in the local shops. Um, people are running, milling around without a care in the world. People aren't keeping their social distances. Um, anyways, um, I went to the uh, my GP as well this morning to get a blood test and uh, a B twelve injection for the because uh, I've got diabetes, as you all know. Um, yeah, and uh, I spoke to the healthcare worker and, and she told me how many people were suffering from the coronavirus. And it, it does seem that all this bulk buying and hoarding of toilet rolls is uh, completely justified. Um, uh, you know, you listen to the BBC and it would sound like there's absolutely millions of people suffering uh, in the UK from this coronavirus or Chinese virus, as, as we like to call it. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's just staggering, really, how um, society is falling apart. And do you know how many people have suffered in Hull? Have, how many people have fallen victim to the coronavirus? No, no idea. Thousand, ten thousand, a million people? Uh, no, it's one. One person in Hull, where I live, has contracted coronavirus. Yet, the shops have been swiped clean of anything that you might need. Uh, there's plenty of crisps and chocolate bars, um, which you probably think you'd need if you're going to be uh, in isolation at home. You know, put the television on, a cup of tea and a, and a biscuit. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of biscuits in the shops. Um, but yeah, if you want a meal, you can't make one because... All the meat's gone. Anyway, that's my little rant over for today. Uh, hopefully I shall get back on the bike. Got a bit of a cold. I've got a few reviews to do um, of uh, components. Um, after my crash, I, I bought myself a new crash helmet. Um, uh, care of the uh, insurance company, they gave me the money for that. And uh, just do a little review of that. Um, a few other little bits and pieces that I bought while I was recovering. Anyway, all right, um, that's enough of that. Oh, we're up to four minutes now, so that's uh, probably a little bit too long for most people to sit and watch. So, anyway, all right, I'll catch you on the on the good side. Bye.